This video is going to go over solving systems of equations by graphing. So first thing, remember, systems of equations are when you have two equations and you graph them, so you graph their lines, and you see where they cross. So that point of intersection, remember, is called the solution to the system of equations. Okay, and you always write it as coordinates, x comma y. Um, and remember, that solution should work in both equations. It has to work in both equations to be a solution. All right, so I have two um, equations here. Two, so that's called a system of equations when you have more than one. And I want to know if I graph those two lines, where will they cross? So I am going to start by graphing this first one. Now, just as a quick little refresher, remember, um, when an equation is written in this form, y equals mx plus b, you know it's going to make a line. Okay, and you know special things about that. So this plus number, so this plus number here, that's the y-intercept. So at the point 1 on the y-axis, I'll just label the x and the y, I can put my y-intercept. Okay, and then remember the m stands for the slope. So my slope is 1 fourth. Remember, slope is rise over run. So it looks like I have to go up 1 over 4. So I'm going to go up 1 over 1, 2, 3, 4. There's my first point. Okay, so again, I'll just show you what I did. I went up 1 over 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go up 1 over 1, 2, 3, 4. There's my next point, okay? Now if I want to get the points um, going down here, I just need to do the opposite. I need to go down one, back four. So there's my point. Okay, I got four points on there, so that should be okay for now. So I'm just going to connect it and draw arrows. So I got my first line. Okay, my second line, let's come down to this one. So here's the y-intercept, negative two. So I'm going to come here to the y-axis, put my y-intercept of negative two. The slope is negative one-half, so that means I'm going to go down one over two. So I'm going to go down one over two. So you can kind of see me doing that. Down one over two, down one over two. Okay, now if I keep going down one over two, you guys might notice it's not going to cross the pink line down here. So I, need, I know I need to keep going this way. So now I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to go up one, back two. Up one, back two, see where it crosses. Okay, so I'm going up one, back two. Up one, back two, up one, back two, good. Okay, I saw right away I did see where it crossed, but I kept going at least for one more point. So let's go ahead and connect this, draw arrows. Okay, now we just graphed the system of equations and we found that point of intersection, which is called the solution. Okay, now I'm just going to write the solution to the system of equations as an ordered pair. So remember, it's always x comma y. So the point looks like I went over 4, so it's negative 4, up 0. That is the solution to that system of equations. All right, now we're going to check to see if we did that right. So here's what we got, negative 4 comma 0. All right, I'm going to just plug that in to see if I did it right. So remember, it's always x comma y. So for my x, I'm going to plug in a negative 4. My y is 0. Let's see what I get. So a fourth times negative 4. I can put a 1 underneath here. So if I multiply straight across, I get negative 4 over 4, which is the same as negative 1. And then it says plus 1, which is 0, which is what I wanted it to be. Okay, let's plug in a negative 4 here for the x and a 0 here. So I have 0 equals, I need to do negative 1 half times negative 4 over 1. Okay, if I work that out, I get a negative times a negative is a positive 4 over 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2 minus 2. That is 0, which is what I wanted. So I did see that that solution worked. Okay, we're going to try another one. So I'm going to graph this system of equations and see where they cross. So let's start with the top one. All right, um, remember, here's your y-intercept. So I'm going to go up 2. I'm going to put my y-intercept. Okay, here's my slope, two-thirds. Remember, it's rise over run. So I'm going to go up two over one, two, three. There's my next point. I'm going to go up two over one, two, three. Okay, I'm just going to get these little lines out of the way. Okay, you can continue that. So I'm just going to go up two over three. Now, if I want to go the opposite way, i got to go backwards, down two, back three. I'm going down two, back three. Okay, I'm going to connect it and extend it. All right, let's do our other one. So here's our y-intercept, 10. So I gotta go all the way up to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's at the very top. 
Okay, and then my slope is negative 2. Now, if there's not a number underneath it, remember you can put a 1. And again, this is the rise over the run. So my slope is down 2 over 1. So from this point way up here, I'm going to go down 2 over 1. Down 2 over 1. Okay, down 2 over 1. Oop, looks like I crossed, but I should always do at least one more. Down 2 over 1. All right, so I found where it crossed. I'm going to go ahead, extend it, draw my line. All right, my last step then is just to write down what is the solution, that point of intersection, what are the coordinates? All right, so to find the coordinates, we gotta see how far we went over from the origin. I went over one, two, three, so it looks like three comma, one, two, three, four. So it looks like my solution to this system of equations is three comma four. Please make sure you always write it as coordinates. So that point, if I plugged it in both of these equations, it would work in both of them. All right, let's do one more. Um, if you would like to try this one out on your own, please find some graph paper from your math teacher or in your graphing notebook. Try this one out, and then when you think you have the solution, push play and watch me do it. All right, so the first one is y equals x plus 5. So here's my y-intercept. It's 5. So I'm going to go, I'll just label my x and my y-axis real quick. I'm going to go up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, it's right there. All right, now the slope, there's no number with that x. So remember, if there's not a number there, that's like there's a 1 there. So it looks like my slope, and if there's not a number under the 1, it's a 1, right? So my slope is up 1 over 1. Okay, so I'm just going to go up 1 over 1 from that point. Up 1 over 1. That one's pretty easy. Now if I want to go back from there, go down 1, back 1, down 1, back 1, down 1, back 1. Okay, for now I'm going to connect it. I might always have to come back and do more points, okay, if I don't cross right away. Okay, let's go to the second one. Here's the y-intercept, 2. So I'm going to put that on there, okay? And then here's my slope, negative 2 or negative 2 over 1. So again, it's rise over run, so I'm going to go down 2 over 1. So from that point, looks like I'm going to go down 2 over 1. Down 2 over 1. Oops, I should do this in green. Okay, now if I keep going down 2 over 1, it doesn't look like it's going to cross down there, so I'd better go opposite and go up 2 over 1. Oop, looks like it crossed. Up 2 over 1. I'll just do a few more. Up 2 over 1. Okay, now I'm going to connect my line. All right. So now the solution to this system of equations, because remember there's two equations, so that point where it crosses, I need to write the coordinates down. Looks like it's negative 1, comma, and then again, so make sure you count negative 1, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4. So negative 1, comma, 4 is the solution to that system. Okay, so let's check it out. So we got negative 1 comma 4. So we're going to plug it in. So remember, this is the x, this is the y. So instead of a y, I'm going to put my 4. Instead of x, my negative 1 plus 5. Let's see if this works. So I have 4 equals negative 1 plus 5 is 4. So it works in that one, okay, but it has to work in the other one for it to be a solution to both equations. So again, I'm going to put my 4 in for the y because this is the x, this is the y, and then negative 2 times my x was negative 1 plus 2. Okay, now if I solve that, a negative times a negative is a positive 2 plus 2 is 4. So 4 equals 4. That is true as well. So I know I have this solution correct to that system of equations. All right, if you didn't understand something, please go back and watch parts of the video or just watch one more example again. Go back and rewatch one of them.